At the top of four, these are updates coming in on the case and investigation against former Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia. He was presented to the court today after his seven-day ED remand ended and now the remand has been extended by five more days. The Enforcement Directorate had sought more time for custodial interrogation of Manish Sisodia. In his defence, Mr Sisodia had argued that he has uh, told the agency all that he knew and there are no plausible grounds to keep him in further detention. However, the Enforcement Directorate, which is probing the charges under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, has got a further extension of about five days. Mr. Manish Sisodia will remain in custody of the Enforcement Directorate for the next five days. After that, he'll once again be presented to the court and then it's a wait and watch. Whether the ED wants further remand or they are done with their investigation. As I said earlier, even when the ED uh, remand or the custody period, that ends for an accused under the PMLA and the person is sent to judicial custody. Take the example of Satyendra Jain. Even in a scenario of that nature, it is very, very difficult to secure bail, keeping in mind that PMLA is a very strict act. The provisions are very stringent. Uh, contrast that to the criminal procedure code where getting a bail, relatively speaking, could still be an easier possibility. Ananya with us on the broadcast. Ananya, what more details do you have? Well, uh, as of now, the court has just said that uh, five more days of police custody remand has been granted uh, uh, to the enforcement directorate of Manish Sisodia. So this means that all those arguments that he was interrogated for 11 hours or, uh, you know, uh, that there is no material with the agencies. Because we, we should understand that uh, all of this, what is said in the court, apart from that, the judge peruses the case diary, which shows the entire process of investigation, which shows what has been done minute by minute, second by second in that particular investigation. And only after seeing the case diaries and all the relevant documents that the agency actually produces with its remand application, then only does the court actually reaches a conclusion and also hearing the other side into this particular case. So definitely the court felt that five more days of police custody remand is warranted in this particular case because remember the main reason why the enforcement directorate actually wanted to seek five more days, um, uh, you know, seven days of police custody remand which it had uh, sought in this particular case at this point of time was to confront Manish Sisodia with certain mm. people. The enforcement directorate's remand note which has been exclusively accessed by CNN News 18 exclusively goes on to say that there is something crucial that had emerged out from Manish Sisodia's interrogation in those last seven days okay. and due to those relevant facts these people have been re-summoned to actually appear before the enforcement directorate and they would be confronted with Manish Sisodia in this particular case and, and let's uh, break it down for our viewers fact, and especially what transpired in the court today via the arguments will give us a peep into what is happening in the ED custody uh, if you could enumerate for our viewers the five key points that the enforcement directorate told the court today vis-a-vis -vis the interrogation and the key evidence of witnesses with whom Mr. Sisodia needs to be confronted with. Well, uh, the five key points, if I sum up this particular hearing for you, uh, for the Enforcement Directorate, is that the Enforcement Directorate, first of all, said that the investigation has revealed certain kind of crucial information which cannot be shared in open court at this point of time, due to which he has to be confronted with C. Arvind. He has to be confronted with the then excise commissioner, Mr. Rahul Singh, hmm. and also with Dinesh Aroda and Amit Aroda into this particular case. Now, next thing that the enforcement directorate goes on to say is that there is a bunch of emails, in fact, a bundle of emails, uh, which goes into 1.23 lakh emails that Manish Sisodia needs to be confronted with, with the dumb data has been sought from, um, hmm. has been taken from CBI, and it has reached the ED, and now... Ananya, just stay with us on the broadcast. I'll interrupt you there. Mr. R.P. Singh of the...